Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we can express x plus 1 as same thing as x minus 1 plus 2. But this here, this becomes 8 raised to power x minus 1 plus 2 now, then minus 8 raised to power x minus 1, then equals to 81 on this side. And next step, we can apply the law of indices a raised to power m plus n, same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Then here, we treat x minus 1 as m, and this becomes 8 raised to power x minus 1 times 8 squared, m minus 8 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 81 on this side. And also here, 8 raised to power x minus 1 is common. Factor it down, we have 8 raised to power x minus 1 into bracket 8 square, then minus 1 left here, equals to 81 on this side. Which same thing as 8 raised to power x minus 1 into bracket 8 square, 8 times 8, 64, then minus 1. Close bracket equals to 81 from here. That is, we have 8 raised to the power x minus 1 times 64 minus 1, that's 63, equals to 81 here. Next step here, we divide both sides by 63. That is, divide this side by 63. Also, divide this side by 63. Here, 63 cancelled each other. We are left with. 8 raised to the power x minus 1, now equals to 81 over 63. Then, also we can write this as 8 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to 81, 9 times 9, then over 63, 9 times 7. That is, yeah, 9 cancel each other. We have 8 raised to the power x minus 1, now equals to 9 over 7 left here. That is, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to the power x minus 1 equals to log 9 over 7 here. Then, next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is the same thing as p log m. Then, here, x minus 1 is the power, then that comes here and we have x minus 1 log 8 equals to log 9 over 7 here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here log 8 cancel each other. We have x minus 1 left which is equals to log 9 over 7 divided by log 8. Then, yeah, this follows from the law of log n. When we have log a over b, we can write this as log a minus log b. As this here, we have x minus 1 equals to log 9 minus log 7 then over log 8. And also here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x minus 1 equals to log 9 over log 8 minus log 7 over log 8. Then next step here, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared, and also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 cube. And what we have becomes x minus 1 equals to log 3 squared over log 2 cube, then minus log 7 over log 2 cube. That is, 
Next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. 2 comes there, 3 comes there, also 3 comes there, and we have x minus 1 equals to 2 log 3 over 3 log 2 and minus. Here we have log 7 over 3 log 2, which implies x minus 1 is equals to, we can separate as 2 over 3. Then log 3 over log 2, then minus also 1 over 3 times log 7 over log 2. Then also applying change of base here. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, here we have x minus 1 equals to 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 and minus also 1 over 3 log 7 base 2 that is here we can take minus 1 to the other side become plus and we have x equals to 1 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 then minus 1 over 3 log 7 base 2 and this is 1 over 1. That is here. We bring this together as one fraction. Now we have x equals to SCMA as 3. And here we have 3, then plus 2 log 3 base 2 here, then minus. Here we have log 7 base 2. So here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If you satisfy this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 all over 3. Then we have plus 1 here minus also 8 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 all over 3. Then we have minus 1 here. Is it equals to 81 on this side? Then from here, we can bring this fraction together as one. Well. Here we have 8 raised to power. SCM here is 3. Then here we still have 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 then plus 3 now then minus also 8 raised to power SCM up here 2 that's 3 that's 1 over 1 here then which implies what we have here is same thing as 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 Base 2, then minus 3 here. Then is it equals to 81 on this side? And here we have 3 plus 3, that's 6. So we can say this 8 raised to power 6, then plus 2 log 3, base 2, minus log 7, base 2, all over 3, then minus here. 3 minus 3 up here, that's 0. And we are left with 8 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 all over 3 then is equals to 81 on this side that is here we can express it as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 6 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 then all over 3 here yeah? A minus also 8 here as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 
2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 then all over 3 is equals to 81 on this side and from here this power multiplies and 3 here comes each other and what we have becomes 2 raised to power 6 then plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 then minus also here 3 cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 left is equals to 81 on this side then next step when we apply the law of indices here we separate this and we have 2 raised to power 6 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 then divided by 2 raised to power log 7 base 2 then minus also here we have 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2 over 2 raised to power log 7 base 2 then is equals to 81 on this side then from what we have here 2 raised to power 6 means to multiply itself 6 times which is 64 then times here we reverse this 2 off from power law and that becomes 2 raised to power we can work it here so when we reverse same thing here it becomes 2 raised to power log 3 square base 2 and log 3 square that's same thing as 2 raised to power log 9 base 2 and when we apply the law of indices of log when well, we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b that is here we can say this is simply 9 then over here simply 7 then minus also here we have 9 then over 7 is equals to 81 on this side then from here here we have 69 64 times 9 that gives us 576 over 7 then minus 9 over 7 is equals to 81 on this side and we can bring this together as well. SCM is 7. And we have 576 minus 9. That gives us 567. Then is equals to 81 here. And of course, when we divide this, 567 over 7, we have 81, which is equals to 81 here. And left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, here we conclude that x equals to 3 plus 2 log 3 base 2 minus log 7 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the description button share this video with your friends and comments see you next class and bye for now